Artificial intelligence has the potential to transform areas as diverse and critical as education, healthcare, finance, mobility, and energy. Over the next three days, our objective is to connect AI innovation innovators with public and private sector decision makers so that they can take a promising strategy forward. We should be aware of the fact that AI technologies currently used in business and other applications could be extremely helpful in efforts to alleviate poverty, protect the environment, or improve education if they were slightly reimagined and refashioned to a new purpose. In other words, AI solutions to urgent challenges in society may be hidden in plain sight right now. The SDGs address many of the same global challenges that XPRIZE competitions have worked on solving over the past several years with many of these solutions taking advantage of AI. Our goal is to accelerate adoption globally for AI technologies and to spark creativity and innovation human AI collaboration. We are super excited to see how these solutions benefit majority of the population. Like many powerful technologies, AI offers us a choice, and the, the real question is, are we good, uh, not is the technology good? At the moment, and I think with conferences like this, we are seeing a real awakening of the AI field to this question, to the, the challenge of using AI for something other than just making money. And uh, I'm very, very optimistic that uh, once it's awakened and realizes the social responsibility that we have, our, you know, our research community is going to step up. Remember, you're going to socialize this through social. <laughs> Professor Penrose. The thing is, intelligence, I, I, I mean, these are words that I wouldn't like to define any of them. It strikes us, you know, over 8 billion euros investment to, per, to maintain this infrastructure for decades. Our project can address a lot of the challenges we're trying to take on. Tomorrow, discussing 
or at least what, what are the main threats in smart cities that we're going to be addressing. Uh, I had several meetings today. And to be asked to run this uh, important track on trust in AI. This is our team. As AI data science team within, within the core capacity of Metrica, but also... And there was a champion, the chief of the UNICEF nutrition section, Gronia Maloney, was phenomenally supportive. She was... She was a leader device, which means that we can enroll online, but all benefit from yours. And this is what we're referring to the mobile device. Will be crucial to implementing such applications. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I would like to thank ITU for including the World Health Organization in this very, very important event. The only way to avoid catastrophe is to envision every possible scenario and plan against it. To harness this in a more responsible, ethical way. Because they will be exposed to risk, and I know we can debate all day long. Exhibition of this right of this point and this. avoiding this contact because this can be a potentially unsafe object for the robot. In Kratra, now we have been developing Sophia as a standardized product. She has over 18 sisters. Humans can be great. Now they can be bad, but humans are also good. How do we find out what... Uh, tell me, do you have a soul? Yeah, we're going to have a place. We're going to have a place. We're going to have a place.